Welcome to Education Lifeline. Today we'll be evaluating expressions. So in order to evaluate an expression, we have to substitute a number for each variable in the given expression and then perform the operations. So in the first example, we have 3x minus 7 for x is equal to 7. This means that we need to plug in 7 for the variable x in the expression. Once we plug in 7, we get 3 times 7 minus 7. 3 times 7 is 21, and 21 minus 7 equals 14. And that's our final answer. The second example says 5x minus 3y for x is equal to 11 and y is equal to negative 10. So we need to plug in 11 for x and negative 10 for y. And we get 5 times 11 minus 3 times negative 10. 5 times 11 is 55 and negative 3 times negative 10 is positive 30. When you are multiplying two negative numbers together, the product will be positive. So 55 plus 30 equals 85 and that's our final answer. So in the third example, we have three variables. We need to plug in 4 for m, 5 for p, and 3 for q to get 5 minus 9 minus 4 plus 3. Now, to simplify this, we start from the innermost parentheses. We have 5 minus 9 minus, and then 4 plus 3, which is 7. Now we get 5 minus 9 minus 7, and 9 minus 7 is 2, so the finally we, 5 minus 2 is 3. In the final example, we need to plug in 3 for x and 1 for both of the y values. Once we do that, we will get negative 7 times 3 plus 1, all divided by 5 minus 3 times 1. Negative 7 times 3 is negative 21, and negative 21 plus 1 is negative 20, and negative 20 will be the numerator. On the denominator, we have negative 3 times 1, which is negative 3, and then 5 minus 3, which is 2. Finally, negative 20 divided by 2 is negative 10, and that's the final answer. Please like this video and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our previous videos and check the description below for other helpful resources. Thanks for watching.